Hello everyone. Now let's try to understand about the user properties. Okay. So we have created one pipeline which is transmitting a data from a blob storage to blob storage. Okay. Now if you will click on this pipeline, if you can see we have option of the general sourcing, mapping, settings and the user properties. Click on this uh, user property. You can click on this auto generate. Okay. It contains information about your source and the destination. And this user property is available for any kind of the services which you will use. Suppose if you are doing a delete activity. So see you, for this also you have a user properties. Same for other also we have a user property option available. Okay. So how actually we can use and how actually it helps. Let's try to understand. So with the help of the user property, actually you will get to know about your actual source and your actual destination. What actually you are going to do. Okay. Now if I will go to this monitor window, if I will click on the any of the pipeline, if I, I will see the user property, there is no information like how, what is my source and my why, what is my destination and all. Right. Now. Here we have selected a user property now. Click here user property. Now click on the publish all. Click on the publish. Once it will publish, I will try to run it again. Now click on this trigger now. Click on the OK. Okay, let's go to the monitor window. I think it's completed, uh, but this one is uh, running. Pipeline is running. The pipeline is now succeeded. Now, as we have selected our user property, right? I think this one is the secure input so that you will not get. Let's go there. Let's see which pipeline actually we ran let's try to run one uh, once more time okay, we have a user property let's try to uncheck this uh, secure output and secure input let's try to publish let's click on this trigger now click on this ok now it is running let's go to the monitor window click on the refresh you can see the pipeline is now running it is succeed now if you can see we have a user property Click on this user property, you will get to know about what is your source, what is your destination. Okay, so that is how actually it helps. So if you actually want to know what actually this pipeline is uh, doing, so that kind of information you will get it from the user properties. And this is very information, even you can add uh, multiple things like if you want to add your name, if you want to add about the users, who is the user and what actually. Uh, who is running so this kind of information you will get it 